and some THC. Pen's just you adorable little. <laughs> hey there, either hold their fire, familia, and welcome to Narjun Reacts. And this we're reacting to Hasman Hotel season one, episode six. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so from the title alone, Welcome to Heaven, obviously they're gonna go have that meeting, so baggy backstory. Please. Really I'm really interested to hear about that. Plus we're gonna get to see heaven. Okay, I have my warm weather clothes. Oh my god. The pride on the suitcase with the rainbow and everything. <laughs> Cold weather clothes. Wait, so it's cold in heaven? Charlie, you're only going to heaven for a few hours. <laughs> She's packing up like they're going for days. I wish I could come, sweetie. I'm not going. I have that thing. What thing? What thing? The thing. With what thing? The thing. Yeah. Um, I need you there with me. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. Yes! Mm. Oh, she kissed her over the X. <laughs> no. Oh, what? The other night at Valentino. What happened to you? It's who happened to me. And the answer oh, is everyone. Twice. Oh. Val had Twice. me looking sick. Ugh. What the fuck what is the that wall? What up, boys? Oh, cherry bomb. <laughs> hey, girl. It's been fucking forever. Yeah. Um. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nope. Give me that. Ugh. The casual. <laughs> Oh, you can sleep when you're double dead, fuckhead. Come on. When you're double dead. Really oh my god, is that where like from the is that a reference to when when freaking Angel and the pilot said, "Where do I uh, where do I go then to double hell?" Responsible night on the town. Yeah, you bad influence, Cherry. Oh, he never brings anyone around. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you're so innocent. Yeah, me too. I wonder that. Wait, wait, wait. They? Yeah, hi, everyone. <gasps> oh my god, is everyone nifty? I don't know about relaxation. Money. Make sure they have the best time tonight. Oh yeah, they're going to. <gasps> she tosses freaking baggy into it. Bye. What about your suitcases? Isn't my arch oh. Have mm. you come to meet your fate in battle? Mm. Pentius, no, no. Apparently. Really, Pentius, you trip over the suitcase. I didn't think this would ever happen. What? Me neither. What do I do? What what do I wear? Don't <gasps> touch me, a munted dickhead. Did Pentius just blush? I'm sorry, Pentius, did you just blush? He blushed! No! <laughs> So, Cherry, Cherry shows. Perry? Uh, never mind. I don't. You know what? Okay, uh, that's not a ship I wanted. To <laughs> name. Heaven. Wow. So echoey. Hiya. Welcome to heaven. Can I get your name, please? Oh, uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, Charlie Morningstar. Charlie Morningstar. Oh, hmm. sh you. Chuckle. How many Charlies? Morning. Oh fuck! Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah. Even I love how even in heaven they're swearing like that. It's like oh fuck! Yeah. Okay, Lucifer. Okay, watch him be the only one with L. Like he's the only Lucifer on the book. Hey, are you sure you're the right place? Because I think you might be a little lost. Uh, Dude. Here we go. No. Uh. Is this gonna be very pretentious and like all this stuff? Baggy's gonna be like, this is why I left. Saint Peter. We can take it oh, hello. Greetings, oh, no, no, wait. I want to see your before forms. Oh, I like your before form. Why are you changed? You look pretty. Wait, no, that was, that was freaking after you changed. Thank you. Oh, I like, I like your forms. You just stay that way. You guys are pretty. We can take it from here. Greetings, daughter of the morning. I mean, you're pretty this way too, but. I am Sarah, the high Seraphim of heaven. You're gifted to be here. The little one. I'm the You're like Charlie. Though you can call me M. Emmy. You're cute, M. E. Welcome to heaven. I like her. She's sweet. It's my pleasure to say is this not a... He's gonna sing, isn't he? It sounds like he was about to say a marriage vow. Welcome to heaven. Oh, with a virtuous... I'm sorry, is that an axolotl angel? Koala, a cat. Who the fuck is... Okay, I was about to say, who the fudge is peeking around the end? I'm sorry, they look a little weird. 
Now all these, all these, I was going to say demons, but we're not in hell anymore. Oh, I like the designs for all the angel ones. I guess just call them angels. Heavenly being, beings? Yeah, I'll say heavenly beings. They're cool. I like their designs. Yeah. Wait. Okay, I don't want to cut. Oh, no, that's fine. Everyone is hot. Oh, I can just see where this is gonna go. Okay, now that they're done with their little sing along, I, I, this is, I could just see where this is gonna go. Everything is awesome. Living, laughing, loving forever. Oh, God, heaven with the prayer emojis and stuff. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, it was brimstone that they dropped from their shoes. Look, science, politeness. I'm really loving the designs of the heavenly beings, but at the same time, it's funny, and none of them are attractive to me. Like, he goes hottest, and it's like, eh. Gosh, I'm, so I'm also not into the, oh yeah, like, look, either. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be an interesting episode. Oh, look at who it is. Good old Adam. Dickmaster9000. Holy that, that guitar riff. What do you notice? Fucking shit balls. Am I seeing who I think I'm seeing? What? Oh. Ooh. 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 Wait. No. That's loot. So this is loot without her mask on. Nah. Wait. She so doesn't have an X over her eye. I wonder if because Vaggy left heaven, they like permanently scarred, like permanently burned the X into her eye, in her face. Over, or like over her mask or something. And she also has a halo, which Vaki doesn't have. And also, Loot has the wings, which I wonder. But if Vaki was cast out of heaven, I wonder if they took the halo, burned off her wings, and also burned into her her face the X. Hmm. How did she even get up here? Who cares? Those I'm her. handling this shit right now. Wait. Are you? Sir. Adam feels very unlike the rest of them, and this is just all a facade, like, there's stuff, like, I don't know, like, Adam seems like he doesn't belong <laughs> heaven, I'll be honest. Uh, no one but the exorcist can know about the exterminations, I know, fine. Wait, what? The seraphim said no one but the extermination angels can know about, wait, no, what'd you say? Uh, no one but the exorcist can know about the exterminations. No one but the exorcist can know about the extermination, so the seraphims are keeping it under wrap. So then it's just the Seraphins, Adam, the Extermination Angels, Lucifer, and then obviously everyone in hell that know about it. So they've kept everything from this, from everyone living in heaven. Interesting. So the, Seraphims knows. So that means the little short one knows too. Because I was thinking, I wonder if she doesn't know, maybe because she's too young and they haven't told her yet. Hmm, this is, oh, this is gonna, ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Don't fucking shush me, bitch. You should don't fucking shush me. Setting up an audience for his misguided daughter. Misguided I knew daughter. I agreed to your yearly activities. I thought it would bring trouble to our doorstep. Keeping heaven safe was my only reason for allowing it. Love heaven. So is Adam lying to Sarah then? Mm, I feel like there's a lot of inner workings going on here. Emily's going to take me to a zoo where all the animals are actually soft. You coming? Actually uh, soft. I need a break. Can you imagine an actual koala? Ah, see you later. <sighs> yeah, in hell, the closest thing we got to a koala is Nifty. She carries knives. <laughs> it's not going to be Charlie. Hey there, Vagisaurus. Oh, Vagisaurus. Are we just going to come up with all these different ways to call Vaggy? Like, oh my god. Oh, these two meeting up? Mmm. Wait. Wait, the way he called her Vagisaurus, it's like he knows her. They... Backstory, Vaggy? Vaggy backstory? Uh, I'm not looking for the blonde, babe. I'm looking for you. Oh. Why? Maybe because you left the band. You tried for a... Oh, uh, okay. Solo career. Or I guess it's more of a duet. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you really think I wouldn't recognize one of my top girls just because you're at a uniform? 
You were on the front lines. So she was an exterminator. Like you, it's why I named you after the best thing ever. Vaggie. Actually, it's pronounced. Oh my god. He named her after Vaggie. He's a freaking. Oh. oh my god. Vaggie. Mm, no. Anyway, you sure fucked up, didn't you? Oh, Adam. Felt that. Oh. Oh. Like you has no place in heaven. Jesus. To think someone as worthless as you landed Lilith's little hottie. Grats on that, I guess. They're what? So we got back, sorry, and how they met. And oh, oh sh. God, I thought it was burnt. She uh, was it Loot that ripped her eyeball out? It had to have been because it was Adam and I think Loot standing there. Vile and blasphemous. Hot as fuck though. Get out, Adam. Get out. I mean, yes, but get out. But actually, one of us. Hmm. What do you want? Charlie would not give a single flying shit. You're gonna help me shut this kindergarten snowflake bullshit down. No, no, you know, Adam, no. You are not getting Faggy to go and backstab Charlie. No, you're not. Shut up. Leave. Get out. Faggy, please say no. Please say no. Never. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You know, that's you. totally cool. You're gonna blackmail, aren't you? tell little Miss Butterflies and Rainbows that she's been fucking someone who's killed... This is... <laughs> Oh, I love how, you know, like we get usually with the, like at least in has been, uh, not has been, in hell of a boss, like whenever they reference effing, it's always, but because they're girl on girl, it's the ching ching. <laughs> of her people. She's not going to care. You're a different person now. You're not the extermination angel anymore. If Charlie could forgive freaking Alistair and give him a chance and everything, girl, you have nothing to worry about. Seriously. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, I got, I love the design. Oh, you got the ones with the globe. I really like them. Baggy, please don't. Blow, blow, Karen. We are gathered here Karen. To determine Prince's morning star. <sighs> Thank you, Seraphim. Of course she has cards. Webster's Dictionary defines redemption as... Objection, lame and unoriginal. Sustained. No further dictionary references, please. Right, okay. Uh, uh. No, please. We're reading these. Right, okay. Uh. Redemption, noun, mass, mass noun. The action of saving being saved from sin, error, or evil. Yay! Uh. Salvation, noun, mass noun. Preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or... Is this all you've got, Charlie? Uh, uh. Charlie, forgiveness, noun, mass noun. The action or process of forgiving or being forgiven. <laughs> Love noun. Wait, what? Noun, but also. Wait, no. What was that? But also. Okay, there we go. Noun, but also a verb, an intense feeling of deep affection. Girl, all you've got is definitions of the words. We have a patron right now who is making incredible progress. Oh, please, Laura. Please don't tell me they show like a screen and it pops up and it shows like, like all of them, not just angel dust, but like all of them committing crimes in hell or whatever. Please don't. He's totally worth being redeemed. Well, if you know so much, what do you think it takes to get into heaven? Um, That's too much for his brain power. Uh, is everything okay, Adam? Give me a fucking minute, okay? Oh, his brain is getting Windows.x error. No, it's Adam.x. Act selfless, don't steal, stick it to the man. Are you fucking serious? Uh, yeah, sure got me here, didn't it? <laughs> right, Sarah? Sure. He was the first human soul in heaven. That's a low bar. <laughs> well, I then let's fucking see it, bruh. Bruh. Nah. Oh no no no! This is just this is gonna be just like with Katie Killjoy and all that stuff. Oh god. May I present Exhibit A? Okay, I love you, Charlie. But did you not learn from the whole Katie Killjoy and that scene and stuff like? To, uh, yeah, especially when you know that. Cherry was taking angel dust in the mountain. That's, it's probably really that naive and innocent that she thinks Cherry is like not a bad influence. I mean, she literally blew up a wall in her entrance. Like, come on. Ooh, isn't this place the fucking best? Char Please. Is a good name for a sex club. Consent is a good name for a sex club. I'm okay. I mean, 
hey, you know what? It's in hell. I'm surprised they even have a bar called that. Um, but first, please, all of you, just somehow, for the next, like, five minutes, just be good. Don't, don't do anything. I beg of you. For Charlie's and Paggy's sake. 50, dear. What are you doing? Killing bugs. Oh. oh. Look how icky it is in here. That's because we're at a club, dear. A sex club. Uh, I thought the hotel looked different. <laughs> Nifty, are you okay? Didn't you say we're arch rivals? Uh, um, um, because I'm by We're going to go from arch rivals to arch lovers. No. Nemesis to lovers. There you go. Yeah, be an example, Pentius. Good. I need a drink after today. Oui. You know, Val, he's into this waterboarding shit now. I, I don't know. It's a kink. Hey, uh. Angel, don't let him ruin your night, too. Here, take the supportive these, best friend. You won't be worrying no! Say no! Say no! Say no! The drunk sobered up long enough to judge. Wait. Are we going to have a different... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So... For Katie Killjoy and stuff, Cherry took Angel out, and they obviously did. They had a fight with Pentius and stuff and everything, and so it was a bad example of of them being reformed. But I wonder if this is going to be a flip now. Now it's going to be different where Cherry's going to try, like, offer drugs to Angel, but because Husk is there, and Husk and Angel had their moment in the previous episode, I wonder if Angel is going to decline the drugs this time. I wonder. Oh, I hope so. Please, please. Yes. I ain't the one trying to get into heaven. Look, mm -hmm. you want to fuck up all your progress? Be my guest. Yes, I Husk. Just, I just thought you were better than that. Yes! You boss kill. And I don't need to go too wild. <laughs> yes, proud of you. Proud of you, Angel. Please don't. How do you deserve a little R&R &R and some THC? Pentious, you adorable little... <laughs> Let's see where the night takes you us. You can relax without getting high. Please. Yes. Angel! Jenny. I bought you. Yes, distractor, please. Because I bought everyone another shot. Pages are gonna be broke by the end of this night. Fuck it. Let's do it. Aw, Angel. No. Heavenly so people. close. Um, objection. Wait, so you mean to tell me nobody in heaven drinks? Maybe hell's looking bad. Just kidding. I'm not a drinker, so. But it's just like, it just seems very uppity and like prim and proper. And that's not me. Telling me you've never had a drink with friends at the end of a hard exactly. day. Exactly. Uh, we don't have hard days. It's fucking heaven, bitch. You so if you had hard day, like are, are they really gonna be like, uh, yeah, we have it so easy up here. We don't deal with that heavy, str like, what is this stress? What is that called? What is this word? <laughs> like they're never having to deal with that. So to them, it's like, well, you guys dealing with all your blood and violence and everything down there and stress like and being exterminated you know once a year now twice a year you know what are you guys complaining about we're fine up here oh god this is gonna be such a you know what this almost reminds me of this reminds me of in a way how you're hearing like with the older generation talking to the like like gen not gen z millennials and young the millennial generation younger and the older generation sitting there going why are you guys complaining like, why, why are you, you know, why, you guys are just lazy, you won't work and stuff. It's like, no, we're dealing with a different environment than what you guys did when you were growing up. You had a lot less stress. Like, we literally could work nine to five, two jobs, like two jobs, and we're still not going to be able to own a home, own a car, blah, 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 all that stuff. Take vacations like you guys could by just having one job. And also, if you're in a relationship, both of you have to be working jobs to do that. So it's like, whereas before... Only one of you had to work, which was typically the guy. Um, so it's just kind of like, this reminds me of that, where you have the older generation sitting up here going and saying, what do you have, what is this, like, what is stress? Like, why are you guys complaining? Like, deal with it. And we're down, we're, we're like Charlie and Baggy and other sinners and everything down here going, have you not been outside of your bubble? Like, have you not seen what we're dealing with here? We, we need help. Nah, you don't need help. Oh my God, this is so... I have to go to the this could be applied to multiple things. Multiple things. Come on, we have to keep watching. Please, Angel. Please, please, please do this. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's give him a chance. Oh, it's the little one that does that. Yeah, I I had a feeling the little one, the younger one, was gonna be more like Charlie, just from how she interacts with Charlie, that she's more like cup half full. Like let's let's just give him a chance to see. Whereas the older one's like, I've seen what's happened. I've been there through all of the the. You know, Lucifer getting kicked out, like everything. So I kind of like what how Lucifer was, where he lost hope in things. So I think that's what it is. The older generation's like, 
yeah, no, there's not going to be any change. They're not going to, there's, there's no point. And the younger ones are like, no, give us, give them a chance. Let's see if there's change. They're more open-minded. Uh, Charlie. <laughs> Thank you. Round 12, motherfuckers! Heels 12! Oh, now Hasu's drinking too? Guys. Everything's spinning. <laughs> I don't think we want Nipsey to get drunk. Next one's on <laughs> and then they're fighting over the money. Shit. <laughs> Chlorine. Chlorine? To this scene. I, I just don't want her to end up in the gutter like I used to. Why are you being such a mess? I'm the mess? Uh oh. Oh, now you gotta cry, Nifty. Console her. Hug her. Cradle her. You wanna play with the kitty? The kitty? Yeah. Yeah. The fuck is this? She's wasted. Just go with it. Babysitter. Really? Oh. I love it. Wow. Hey. Are freaking Husk and Angel gonna have to be the parents that like drag him out of there and are like, you know what, you guys need to stop. We're done. Dude. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna get ballsy and he's gonna flirt with her or something or ask her out. Oh my god. Has a sex room. So I was thinking maybe you'd want to um, do copulate sex with me. Oh, Pentius. Oh my god, Pentius, no. If I could bear peeking out of room three. Pentius. You know, we can do he regrets that now. Freaking nifty messing with Huss swing. Valentino. Exactly. So Wait, what? You why are you? Valentino. Yeah, I'm here all the time. Oh shit! Leaf! Do you need a job? How many this is, is this how he met Angel Dust? Was in a club like this? I bet it is. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's go. Wait, are we gonna get protective Husk? Is Husk? No, we're not going to, right? I don't know. I do. I. I want. I both want to see Husk go after Val, but I also don't because Val is scary. But then again, Husk was an ex. Is an ex overlord. So, but wait, Valentino is too. So, where's mm. Nifty? Oh, yep. Nifty, please don't. I mean, he's the ultimate bad boy, so <laughs> I can see why she'd go after him. <laughs> Angel shouldn't be the one to chase after her. It should be a husk or something. Excuse me. And I will. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Who's this chiquita? No. Oh, Angel's going to get so protective over Nifty against Val. But then if he stands up against Val, isn't Val going to punish him? Oh, God. Can we please stop putting Angel in these predicaments that he protects people, but then it like... No. Oh, weird, but there's a kink for that, I'm sure. Fuck off, there is. Val. Excuse me. I oh. said fuck off. You forget who you're talking to. Angel, Angel. So mm -hmm. once again, fuck. You're gonna break it. <laughs> oh. Enjoy the rest of your night, oh, bitch. Way to go, kid. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Cause his coat is part of his fur. Cause he's a moth. And if dude is. Oh wait, I wonder if Nifty's gonna protect Angel and be like, he don't mess with my bad boys. <laughs> Oh, or not. Never mind. Ah, freaking Val looks so like. What is that frame on Nifty? But anyway, <laughs> Val being scared of Nifty. I love it. You could come crash with us too. Oh, okay. Look, Angie, I'm glad. Perform her. I am doing just fine. In fact, you sure? I'm fuck the next guy I see. Okay. Pengus. But you. Oh my God, the bowl of condoms outside the door. Need me. I, I mean, at least they're all about protection, even in hell. You know where to find me, yeah. You good, Pentius? Wow. Damn it! <laughs> the one time he gets to, like, she's, like, wants to go have sex, and he was too busy with the others because he had to go and say that he wasn't going to really have sex with everyone. And he stuck it to that Mothman! Uh, yeah, Adam! Uh, but th then why isn't he here, then? Hmm? Yeah. Why isn't he here? Good question. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna make everyone question this. None of you know what gets someone into heaven. This questioning stops now. Uh-huh, no I bet it does. Arrives. It is our job. She's gonna start questioning things. 
But she was right, Sarah. Yes. I'm sorry, is there the, no nah. hold up, I don't want to interrupt the song too fast. They put the cool S. They put that cool freaking S. They're safe. Yeah, that's the cool S! Okay, yeah. Uh, Alright. He saw the light, Sarah. Checked all the boxes, Is Angel gonna be the first? It's not fair, Sarah. Oh, three. Is that gonna sing too? I love that Angel's the first one to do this. Which is... Oh! We're getting multiple. What's in your loop? Alright, I'm sorry. They all gasp at freaking Charlie saying the F word, but then you got Lou here saying cocksucker and all this stuff, and they're all letting it go. And you got Adam, who's Adam. And they let it... No, I'm sorry. This is hypocritical here. I was about to say, uh, aren't you supposed to keep this hush hush between just the seraphins and you? You're about to blur. Oh, please, blurt it, Adam. Please get yourself into deep shit. Wait, shit. Okay, I thought all seraphins knew, but as I thought, I was gonna say, I bet you the young one doesn't know. <laughs> I'm loving this. Right. The fire in her reflecting in her eyes. I don't like that. I don't need your kind yes. Go off. Adam, suck it. <laughs> Charlie's like, I'm. S Charlie's not gonna care, right? Please have Charlie not care. She's not gonna care. She is. I'm sorry. All right, real quick. Okay, I love all the songs, but I think that is the closest we've got. Like, not closest. I think that is the song that feels the most like a music. Like, that felt grand. Like, that felt like it belonged in a movie. Like, you got, like, multiple singers and, go like, ooh, that was good. That was, meh. The court finds that there is no evidence souls in hell can be redeemed. What? Oh, fuck yes. Adam, you piece of... Bitches. No. You better save the date, cunts. Okay, you know what, Valentino I hate, but Adam I just Because we're coming to your hotel first. Oh, you bitch. What? <laughs> Sorry. And you support this, Sarah? They were uprising, Emily. Ooh, the eyes. It is my everyone looks to us. And what about them? Ourselves. If you start to question, you could end up like Lucifer. Falling. I couldn't bear to see you suffer that fate. So please. Let me worry about this. This is okay. Oh, this is gonna get interesting. I'm sorry. I like love all this. Like I, I understand both sides, but oh, that was ah, that was a good episode. <laughs> Ooh, this is the meat of this of this series. Whew. That was an episode. Ooh. All right. Oh my. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts then. All right. So my thoughts for the episode. Okay. I gotta resist from going on once again for too long because this one was a banger. Oh my god. This is a fit. Okay. I loved the episode four. Um, didn't like the pain and heart wrench in it and stuff, but the ending was worth it with Husk and Angel. But oh my god, this one overall. Oh, this one. This one felt like it could have been, like, part of the... Like, if they did a movie of this series, it would have been a part of it. Like, it just felt very grand. And, like, big stakes. Like, not big stakes, but just a lot of major stuff going on. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep my thoughts just... I'm gonna keep it contained. I'm gonna try to. So, plot. 
Oh, the plot. There was a lot in this. Like, I, I love that we, that we, I wonder though. Hold on. No, that's a different part. Um, the plot though. I love that we finally get to see heaven. I keep saying finally like it's been, we, we get to see heaven. I really wanted to see what that would look like. And it, it's kind of like as expected where everything is very perfect and bright. And it didn't look bad, but at the same time, it did give off that um, everything is perfect here. Like nothing happens, nothing wrong, even though they've got freaking Adam. Like, and I love they brought that up. Where Adam, where I love how Charlie even said to him, like, what would you consider a way to get up here? He's like, mm, like, you could just imagine the hamster wheel in his brain just going like 90, like 100 miles per hour going, what is the... And so then he throws together. I love that it turns out like Angel does everything he says on the list. And then that's what leads to them going. If he, he did everything. You, wait, do none of you know what the qualifications are to get into heaven? Like who's in charge here? Like who's the one saying who can go to heaven? Who can't? Like, that's where I, it's, I think going to start getting everyone a question in heaven. Like, like maybe not everyone, but like at least the ones in the courtroom that heard that. They're going to question and go, yeah, what is the qualifications? That or they're just going to move on with their lives and not care. Um, but obviously, I don't remember the name of the little one. M? E? M? I think it was M. I don't say E. Um, e, the little one, is questioning things now. Sarah question, like, is starting to doubt it, but she's like, I'm doing it to protect you and everyone else. And then interesting at the end how she said, I don't want what happened to Lucifer, Lucifer to happen to you. So that's why Sarah is scared. Sarah saw what happened to Lucifer when he started questioning and wanting to do things differently. And he got cast out in, into hell. And hell was created literally... Well, not created for him. He fell and then he created hell. So it's kind of like she doesn't want the same to happen to E or like any of them. Or any of the Seraphims. So, interesting. wonder if E is going to technically be banished. And that's what's going to lead Sarah to then revolt again. This could get very interesting. Um... Yeah, the plot for this episode, um, probably my favorite plot for an episode so far. Uh, characters, um, great. I mean, like, even the ones I hate, like, we had, we had everyone almost in this episode. Did we? Was anyone left out? You know what? This is the first episode that Alistair wasn't in. And this is when the biggest shit was going down. <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, first episode without Alistair. But we had, like, everyone. We had Lou, we had Adam. Um, we had Charlie, Vaggy, we had Angel Dust Husk, Nifty, Harry Bomb, Valentino on the side. Like, it, it had, like, a lot of, like, a lot of characters in it. And it felt not clustered. It felt, oh, I forgot, Penches, too. Sorry, Penches. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Um, but yeah, um, this, it didn't feel cramped with all the characters. It felt balanced, which was done very well. Um... Yeah, the characters were great. I love the I love the designs. Like I said before, I love the designs for all the he uh, heavenly beings. I love the designs for the seraphims. Like I really, um, I really like this. Like I really like their design. The seraphims especially. Like I don't know. Like I know they're more based off of actual the accurate biblical angels with their multiple wings and like the ones with the globe heads and stuff. Those are cool. But I actually really like uh, Sarah and Eve's. Uh, Forms. I think they look very pretty. Um, or I prefer those designs. Um, but yeah, our characters were great in this episode. Animation, beautiful. Um, music. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I already forgot what the, if was there a second song in this, or was there only one song? I think there was only one song. And that's and I mean, if it was the only song, I. I I completely forgot if there was another one, but the main one, which is when in the court, that was a bank that felt so like it felt like a true musical where you had the different characters arguing back and forth and all the different like switching between the different voices and every, all of it was harmonious and the music or like the orchestra being grand. Like it just felt ooh, that was good. That was really good. Um, I, that's one of the, that's one of those kind of, it kind of reminds me of, um, like most of the songs so far have been something you could like listen to outside side and never see the animation and it's like, that's fine. Or like, it's, it's almost like it, you don't need the animation, but I feel like almost this song is even better if you watch it with the animation that goes along with it. Like the scene, like, I feel like it's way better. Like the song is great, but I feel like the animation made it even like double. 
<laughs> but yeah. Um, overall, amazing episode. I would say for plot wise and for characters and everything, might be my I'd say it'd be my favorite. Like I really like the one with Angel and uh, Valentino and Husk like that because it was seeing into Angel's what he's dealing with. Like it was very hard. Like it was it was painful to watch, but it was done well and it was a really good episode. But I feel like because Angel's my favorite character, so um. Like, this one had Angel, in, and it had him being the example of, like, they can change and stuff. So, I really like that. Yeah, no. Okay. This is going to be my favorite episode so far of the season. And then right after would be episode four. Um, ooh. I'm really curious on where it's going to go from here. Uh, like, something that happened in the last episode of the season. Because I think we got two episodes left. So, what happened? Also, we left it off real quick. We left it off with... I wasn't expecting Charlie to take it the way she did when Adam revealed that Baggy was an angel. I wasn't expecting Charlie to break down and hold her face. I thought she would maybe be shocked, but then she would not care. But for her to react the way she did. So I wonder if now that they've been brought back to hell, what's their interaction? I mean, like, is Charlie going to be upset or is she going to be more? I wonder if Charlie's going to be more upset that Baggy didn't tell her sooner. Like, you know, don't you trust me? You know, you know, I love you no matter what. What you were or who you are um so i wonder that's gonna oh that's gonna be interesting mm. all right well anyway amazing episode uh those are my thoughts for it i hope you enjoy this reaction if you like early access to my full unedited reactions go join my patreon link in the description and pin comment below anyway have a wonderful morning after night and keep bringing bright see ya